back on Countdown to Kickoff 2011 Action 4 Sports look at the upcoming high school football season, and we are talking signal callers. We're talking quarterbacks. We're talking about the best ones in the Rio Grande Valley. And uh, as far as I know, guys, we're all in agreement on who the best one is, and it's the guy who wears the Indianapolis Colts-looking uniform yet isn't Peyton Manning. <laughs> it's Adrian Morales over at Mission Veterans. Yeah, it's not. I think Adrian Morales has the best combination of size, speed, arm strength. I mean, he's basically the full package. He's dedicated. He's really smart, too. I mean, he can run that offense. And Coach Gilpin's been saying that he'll call out things in team meetings before the coaches can. I mean, he can really see the defense is right. So whenever you have a kid that's that athletic and that smart as well, then I think you have to give him the nod. And look at who he's got coaching him with the offensive coordinator position, none other than Luca Rodriguez, who, of course, at the Valley record at the time when he threw 50 touchdown passes in one season. And I, I don't know if Morales is going to get the 50 touchdowns, but I think if he has another year like he had last year, he's really going to make some noise. And I think a lot of eyeballs are looking at him. And that's something to be said, though, that more eyeballs will be on Adrian Morales this year. We saw what happened with uh, Gilbert Gutierrez at Mission High School a few years ago where he had a great, you know, debut season. And then after that, it kind of went down for him a little bit. Will that happen to Adrian? I don't think so. I think he's a little, a little too smart to let that happen. He's got the right offense in place. He's got the right motivator in place in David Gilpin who can, who can motivate just about anybody to do anything. Uh, so I, you know, he's definitely there at the top of the dish, uh, as top, top of the, in the valley as far as, uh, quarterbacks are concerned. Alright, well let's keep going through. Who's next? I like AJ Garza, the kid at LaVia. Um, unbelievable. He's so calm in the pocket. The guy just sits back there and he's so accurate. That's the thing. That's that's how he got the 3,200 plus yards last year for, for the Cardinals. A.J. Garza definitely one of the best in the Valley. Of course, he's got great guys to throw to, but, uh, you know, you watch him in seven on seven, you watch him in, re in, in the real stuff in the fall, you notice it's the same thing. Sits back in the pocket and just picks off, always knows where his receivers are going to be, incredibly accurate, and that's why LaVia can put up the points and the yards that they do. I'll take another quarterback uh, over, uh, I'll take a quarterback in McAllen. If Adrian Murray is my one. Matthew Kaufman, I think, is my 1A. It says a lot that he's coming into his fourth season as the starter. I mean, uh, anytime you have that happen. He's happening, still around. He's yeah. still <laughs> around. I mean, he's coming back again. He's got uh, a ton of yards, a ton of touchdowns. He's been there before you talk to him, and uh, he, he, he knows how he's to like interview. He, knows, yeah. he is an old pro, and he gets better every season. That's right. the thing. You look at his numbers, he has had no drop-off. He keeps getting better every year, and he really scary to teams because they know that he can run. I mean, my gosh, he's the, he's the returning leading rusher in District 35A. That has to say something. And isn't his dad the offensive coordinator at Memorial? And then I think his sister holds, has a headset on and charts the plays on the clipboard. I mean, it's a family <laughs> effort over there at Memorial. A couple of other guys. He's talking about Kevin Lodosma. He's got all the weapons in the world in Harlem. And, 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 you know, you talk he, about, can do, he can do it with his feet as well. Yeah. Fantastic running quarterback. Exactly. He's a little on the small side, but I think that helps him out because of, for maneuverability purposes. And he sees the field so well, and, and in terms of being able to pick apart the defense and find the open receiver, he'll throw to anybody. He doesn't, he doesn't have a favorite target. He, he will get it to anybody who's open. Uh, one guy I, I like, and he's more of a uh, kind of a clock control quarterback. He, he'll make the throws when he has to. Russell Ruiz, John Arevalo. Uh, he was one of the guys that he was, a, he was a really a star of the mission veterans West of East game that we always talk about. Uh, he made the passes when he needed to, and, and he, ne he never fumbles the football. I really like him. And then Dustin Hernandez and Pace, he's another one of those two-way quarterbacks in that he can run the ball and he can throw the ball in a second year with him at quarterback. I, you know, I like what Pace will do because they, they always seem to have those quarterbacks that can both run and throw. I'll throw in Austin Navarro at PSJ North, too. He's coming back with a half a year experience uh, from last season. He's 6'2", 190 pounds. I mean, he looks the part of a quarterback, and he can throw. Uh, they're not just going to run the ball in this direction. That's a big part of their game, but he can roll out on a waggle pass and, uh, and hit his guys. Well, you talked about Matthew Kaufman. Some people are wondering if Matthew Kaufman is even the best quarterback in the city of McAllen right. because, of course, what Justin Salinas was able to do last year for, for Mack High, and he's coming back as the Bulldog signal caller. And, and uh, the guy showed incredible poise with what he was able to do, bringing McAllen back from what looked like a horrible season and giving them a, a fantastic end of the year. Salinas definitely has to be looked at as one of the best quarterbacks in the Valley. We'd be remiss if we didn't also talk about the guy who is 
has been picked by Dave Campbell, Texas football, as the preseason offensive MVP for District 32-3A, and that's Juan Puga right. over at Rio Hondo, who, once again, has some serious weapons, but is very accurate. That's the one thing I love about some of these guys is how accurate they are, because if you're going to have a spread offense, it doesn't matter if you can throw the ball 40, 50 yards. What matters is how accurate you are, because if you're not, then it's three and out, and your defense is going to be out there with a throw hanging out. If your quarterback isn't accurate, you cannot run the spread without an accurate quarterback. And so the guys who can do it and can do it successfully, you know, those are the guys definitely to be admired. And it'll be fun to watch all these quarterbacks get the job done. Speaking of get the job done, we're almost done with our job, but we've got a big district to pick next. And that would be the Upper Valley 5A District 35A. We're going to talk about it, analyze it, give you our playoff picks when we come back on Countdown to Kickoff 2011.